whether it's a game changer, it's hard to say or not. But this will enliven conservatives who perhaps have been suspicious of Romney in the past because Ryan is seen as a real reformer and a budget hog. In that sense, you have Mitt Romney as a former private executive who is an outsider, and you have Ryan, who's a Washington insider and who knows where all the bodies are buried in Washington and in the Congress. I believe that my record of getting things done in Congress will be very helpful complement to Governor Romney's executive and private sector success outside of Washington. It will help unify conservatives. United will never be defeated. The people 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 united will never be defeated. background with 27 years of U.S. Uh, Army service, nine years of wartime service in Vietnam, and uh, also a political appointment from the Reagan administration for the Defense Department, a political appointment from Bush 41 to work in the Foreign Service, and with that national security experience, I believe that uh, the policies of, of President Barack Obama uh, are, are strengthening um, national security in many respects. For example, uh, he is a strong practitioner of what a former Assistant Secretary of Defense, Joseph S. Nye, defines as soft power. Soft power is the ability for a country to, uh, uh, to um, co-opt rather than coerce. And you draw other people to want the same things you want then your economy is stronger. And if your economy is stronger, that underwrites our hard power, our military power. Otherwise, both erode. Uh, that is an example. And uh, also, President Obama is very uh, eager to improve our uh, cyber security because the biggest threat to American national security in traditional military terms is cyber attack. And so the president has been upgrading that. And unfortunately, the Republicans just uh, filibustered a law, uh, a proposed law in the Senate 
to improve cybersecurity. So these are a few reasons that I support President Obama for national security reasons. What are we doing? United States of America for national security and economy, we've got to get Obama another four years.